Frank, uh, every year when Upper Canada was running, he had a canoe trip that he put on for all the staff, and it was a lot of fun in the spring usually. And the year after the business was closed and sold, he uh, called everybody and said, let's do this again. So we all went out with Frank, I don't know, about 35, 40 people, got in canoes, and we paddled up this river. And, and late, uh, one of the nights we were out over the weekend, uh, probably 3, 4 in the morning, uh, myself, Greg, who was my boss, and Cameron, who, uh, Frank's son, who worked for me, were sitting around the fire, and we started talking about this idea of coming up with another brewery, starting another craft brewery, the Phoenix Rising from Upper Canada. Because although we, we got into other jobs and other businesses, the passion for what we were doing wasn't there. So we, uh, we, that night, we came up with a, this idea of calling our business Three Fired Guys Brewing. We thought this was excellent. <laughs> it was the truth. We loved the truth. <laughs> but my wife, Sybil, said, you know, it's probably better to look at something that would maybe have long-term, not a, such a negative connotation, you know, look at alternatives. So we did that, and uh, we came up with uh, a name, the name of Steam Whistle Brewery. And the, the reason we did this is because we were on top of a building down in the distillery district in Toronto. We were thinking about buying a building down there. And uh, I was standing on the roof looking uh, west into the core of the city. And my brother Dave was our architect. He was there, and Cam, my partner, was there. And uh, I said, guys, you know, we're going to have this uh, look and feel of overbuilt quality, retro, age of innocence with our brand. What if we put a steam whistle on the roof and at 5 o'clock blew it off, just like in the old days? And uh, then, you know, all these white-collar people that were working in these towers would see the steam whistle and they'd think, oh, it's time for a nice cold pilsner. So uh, the guys liked that idea. And Cam said, we, we're looking for alternatives to Three Fired Guys Brewing. Haven't found a good one yet. What about steam whistle? Because it's, it's an icon that no one else other than maybe Fred Flintstone had used. And uh, it had a great mnemonic and a great visual. So we put that on the list. And on the way home, realized that really would be a great opportunity for us to consider. But my partner, Cam, was very, uh, he was very passionate about the Three Fired Guys idea. So he worked away in the sidelines without telling me. I just want to mention Greg Cromwell's on the right. Um, he, at the time of uh, the construction of Steam Whistle, he moved to Australia because he was made, married to an Australian lady. They had been here in Canada for five years. And the deal was to go back there for five years. Greg is still there. So it was Cam and I were left with uh, operating the business. So what Cameron did is he talked to the bottle supplier without me knowing and had 3FG <laughs> put right on the bottle. So every bottle, every bottle of steam whistle has 3FG in the mold. What's important about that is for, for all brands and all businesses, there's a story to tell. People love hearing stories, especially in consumer products. People want to have an emotional connection to what they're purchasing. They want to go into the store, and if they see a product, they know something, they've heard a story, they know the people, they've toured the facility, there's a much better chance they'll invest in that. So you'll find if you tour Steam Whistle, uh, this story that I just told you will probably be told in a better way by the staff who do such a good job of it there. <laughs>